I think that there is going to be many different types. When I think about wearables, I look at it in a very broad sense. Like the one I'm wearing here is a band. In fact, I think of it as a sensor framework. It collects all kinds of interesting data. In fact, it rendezvous all that data into a cloud service that which we can even uh, integrate with our emergency medical record. So there's a lot of interesting things you do, not just on the wearable, but with the cloud service that in fact tethers to the wearable. And the most salient, interesting aspect of those devices is data. In other words, how can we add intelligence on top of the data that's being collected from all of these devices so that you as an individual can get more out of all of this computing power. You've just been talking to business executives. You're going to be continuing to do that. Do they feel confident enough about the economy to spend, to get where they need to be in terms of making the most of that data out there? But the most interesting aspect uh, to me, I think, is the pace of innovation the need for change in terms of business transformation is such that you have to use technology. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, the question is, can you empower the individuals within the organization? One of the services I talked about is this uh, tool that I use every day uh, at work called Delve. Um, it's kind of like the Facebook uh, newsfeed for work, where in fact I can see all the work that's happening inside of Microsoft. It's not an org chart view, it's a view of who's doing what. Uh, and it lights up based on what my uh, you know, topics of interest are.